Okay, I've never done a vlog before, but um, I am a 45-year-old mother of two adult sons. I teach English in high school. I've been teaching for 21 years. Um, I also have been a caregiver to my sick parents for years, um, and they have both recently passed away. And after my father passed away, I decided that I needed to do something about my weight. So I started the keto diet and I actually had great success with that. I lost a little, right around 50 pounds, a couple pounds more maybe, um, but several clothing sizes. I pretty much went from a size 22 to a 14. Um, so I was pretty proud about that. And then when my mother, my mother had been ill for many years, but when she, her illness became very bad, um, I just kind of let myself go again and law, or gained uh, 26 pounds and, um, you know, in a pretty short amount of time. And then she passed away and I decided I've had to get that weight back off. So I worked, I didn't really do the keto. I kind of just watched what I ate and I got, I'm down three pounds from the lowest I ever got with the keto. So I still have three pounds to go, but I'm pretty content with my body size now. I would like to lose some more weight, but if I don't, I'm okay with that. Um, but this, vlog is because I'm going to um, have a procedure on Monday. I decided I've been taking care of people for many years and it's aged me considerably and I'm going to do something for myself. So on Monday I'm going to have a procedure called face tight and I'm going to combine it with something called Morpheus 8. Um, when I went for my consultation, my, my main issue and insecurity is this. It's always been an issue. Um, it's genetic. My mother had it, my grandmother. But when I, my weight fluctuated, it pretty much um, became very, you can see it, just real wrinkly and um, I lost a lot of elasticity. So I didn't know if I was gonna qualify for this procedure or if he was gonna say I needed the full neck facelift or whatever. Um, but he immediately said that I you know, did not need the full blown neck lift and that I was an excellent candidate for face tight. So it's a fairly new procedure around here. Um, Actually, I think they are the only plastic surgery group in my area who does the procedure. Basically, it's done under local anesthesia, and um, I think I take a mild sedative, and they use numbing cream. And when I first saw the, a video of the procedure, I almost canceled my consultation, but um, I'm nervous about it, but I'm hopeful for good results. I'm hopeful that it tightens the skin and my jowls can kind of get pulled up. That's the goal I'm looking for. Uh, the Morpheus 8, they are gonna do that with the face type procedure, and then it requires two other follow-up um, treatments. And it's kind of like microneedling, but it's done all over the face and it's supposed to help with fine lines and wrinkles and such. Um, I planned on doing this little vlog series daily to document because as I was researching, there just isn't a lot of information out there from people who have had it, I guess, because it is fairly new. So I thought I would do it and maybe post it on my YouTube channel for those who were interested in doing a procedure similar to this. So, um, this is the before. It's, I've got something in my hair. Um, not the greatest look because I do have my house cleaning uh, hairdo and such, but um, 
anyway, I plan, that my procedure is Monday, and I plan to do some sort of documentation each day to document my daily progress. Apparently, it's going to take three months to a year to show full results of this. They are going to do some liposuctioning here. Um, so I'm pretty excited about it. I'm happy to be doing something for myself uh, for a change. I'm nervous about the pain. I'm a wuss. But um, this is the before. These are the problem areas that I'm hoping get resolved with this. And stay tuned.